Hi everyone. Um, this is a tutorial on how to restrap a single strap uh, traveler's notebook. I have here a Foxy Fix number two Wanderlust butterscotch. It originally, um, I originally got the brown elastic. I kind of like these elastics to kind of match with this a little more, and then I like my accent elastic um, to actually close it to be a different color. Um, but I found that this brown that came with my Wanderlust here was a little too tight. Um, so it was kind of pulling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to restrap this middle section to match this mint here that I have around the outside. Um, the first thing I did is I actually untied this single, um, ela or single elastic here that holds this outside elastic. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out. Um, and I'm, I'm taking it out only to show you, I guess, how to do it. I'm going to keep this mint one in there. I just wanted to loosen it up a little bit, but I will do that later. Um, in these Foxy Fix restrap kits, you will get instructions and you'll get the elastic and it's, it's not normally wound around like this exactly, but it is wound around a little bit. Um, and it's wound around your threading needle, which is a little different. Um, you can use a bobby pin or something like that. Um, I know I've seen people use bobby pins or heard of people use bobby pins and whatnot, but this one is a special kind of, I'm sure it has a specific name, but a sp special kind of needle where it actually clips on. It doesn't thread through, it clips on here. And they actually, the last few a lot, um, restrap kits, goodness gracious, I can't talk. The last few restrap kits I've gotten from Foxy Fix actually have had them already put into the needle, which is super helpful for those that don't know exactly how to put it on here. So now that I've taken this out, I am actually going to I already had untied this just to see um, how it was done, but um, basically what I did was I untied it, and now I see how they threaded it through. So you can see there's four holes here. They threaded it through this one, through this one, all the way down, and then through this one. So I just use that as a kind of a guide on how to do it. I mean, they do show you on these instructions, I believe, as well, but... I, for me, it's just easier to actually see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out and I'm going to take my thread here and start in this hole right here, pull it on through. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get it through the hole. Um, and then I'm going to go right back up through this hole here. And then I'm going to come down to this bottom hole here. And then in through this hole here. Super simple, obviously a lot more simple than the compacts or the wides, since there's only one elastic to worry about. Um, the last thing that I do is obviously... Um, I don't want to waste a ton of the elastic. I try to make this last as long as I can. So I kind of make it so it's a little more um, even here. So I'm not wasting a ton on this end. And then I'm just going to cut it here. No, I'm not because I need to pull this through. <laughs> Skipping steps. Why not? So obviously you need to not have an, a horrible amount of elastic left. <laughs> but um, the elastics that were on here were a little too tight for me. Um, you can see this lays flat and it is fairly even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a little extra slack on the elastic here. Just to make sure... that my inserts will actually fit nicely in here and not pull on the folder too much. So there we go. Got a little extra here. So now I'm going to cut it. Take it 
off of this and I'm just gonna tie it I um, I do obviously double knot it just to make sure it stays this is really hard to do especially because I've got longer nails than normal sure that my elastic is still stretchy there oh my word here we go okay pull it tight and I'm just gonna clip these ends here oops there we go all right so now I've got a little more um, a little more give than I had before to put my elastic or my uh, inserts in. Um, the other thing they do send you, and actually I think this was it, um, they actually send you a whole bunch of the uh, elastic, but then they actually send you one strap that is meant to go around. This was longer um, and I had already cut it down, but I gave myself some extra space so that if I needed to do what I'm doing right now, I could. So I am going to put this on here, uh, clip it on somehow here. Long nails are useful for something, look at that. All right, so I've got it clipped on. So I'm just gonna thread it through this hole here. And then I'm going to actually thread it through here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this first one here and then out this one. This way your elastic doesn't go over your pen loop if you have one. I had actually taken the pen loop off at one point, but being that I use this one for work, it was really useful to have it there. And then I'm actually gonna just go right back through that middle hole here. So, oops, wrong one. There we go. So now I'm going to close it and make sure I like how loose the elastic is, which I think that's, that's pretty good there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it. Pretty simple. Nothing super fancy or anything. If I could actually tie it. There we go. And then I'm going to keep this here, but normally I would snip the ends too, just like I did here. I'm just going to keep it for now to make sure I like this the way it is. So close that up and there we go. It is restrapped with mint. So anyway, thanks for watching.